Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Today I'm here with a fun video. I'm actually doing a challenge for once. I don't normally do these, but I wanted to switch it up. And as you can probably tell from the title, I am going to be doing the My Followers Pick My Makeup challenge which basically means that i gave you guys a bunch of options on twitter to choose from for every step of my makeup for all the different products and colors and styles and everything and i let you guys vote for what you wanted to see me put on my face in this video and i'm gonna have to use whatever you guys voted for. I'm pretty late to the trend with this challenge. It's been done a million times by a million different YouTubers. And at this point, I forgot who started it, but credit where credit is due. Obviously, I didn't make this up, but I just wanted to jump on the bandwagon better late than never. I'm kind of nervous because I have a comfort zone when it comes to makeup, and I don't tend to step outside of that comfort zone. But another big reason why I wanted to do this video is because I have a lot of makeup and different colors and products and styles and I don't really ever, you know, experiment. So now you guys are gonna force me to experiment because I know that y'all probably chose some crazy stuff. Okay, so I tweeted, today I'm filming followers pick my makeup. You guys will be voting on what I should use for each step of my makeup look. Let's start with primer and the options were Fenty Beauty, CoverGirl, Urban Decay Primer Spray or no primer. So for some of the stuff I gave you brands to choose from, sometimes I gave you colors, sometimes I gave you styles. So for primer, I gave you guys brands and it looks like the winner is Fenty Beauty by a landslide. This Fenty Beauty primer won with 63% of the votes and over 2000 people voted on here. So for step one, I'm gonna be going in with my Fenty Beauty primer. What is the exact name of this primer? This is called the Soft Matte Pro Filter Primer. To be honest, I haven't used this in a while because I just feel like I have so many primers and I'm not really picky about my primers. So whatever new primer I have, I pretty much just used that one. So this is from a while back when Fenty Beauty first came out and I really haven't used it much since then. It gives like a soft velvety feel to the skin. Okay, so then I tweeted, next up is eyebrows and the choices were nothing, a light brown pencil, a brow pomade or gel or use eyeshadow. And the winner is with 46% the brow pomade. So mm, that is not what I normally use. Okay, so I got two. I got the Beauty Bakery Brown Brownies Eyebrow Gel and then I got Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. This is like a classic brow pomade. This is what I used to use on my eyebrows like all the time. This product is kind of old though. So I feel like, oh yes girl, it's a bit crusty. I'm not even sure if it's usable right now. So that's why I got this Beauty Bakery one because it's newer and juicier. Okay, Beauty Bakery is real juicy. So I guess we'll just use that. Okay, so there's that. Honestly, I kind of like that. I might need to start using brow pomades again. Okay, so so far so good. Nothing too crazy. I know it's probably about to get crazy. All right, so foundation. Oh, see you guys, you guys are just playing favorites, okay? I should have not gave you so many Fenty Beauty options. So for foundation, I gave you Fenty Beauty, NARS, CoverGirl, or Huda Beauty. And Fenty Beauty won by a landslide again, 51%. Second place was NARS, which is the foundation that I've been using recently. I thought you guys would want to see a foundation that I haven't shown or that I don't normally use. You guys are being boring. So here is my Fenty Beauty foundation. I have it in the shade 290. Um, this was the shade that I got back when you know it first came out. So hopefully it still matches me. I haven't used it in a hot minute. I'm gonna put it on with a brush. Oh, wait a minute, honey. I should have shaken this up a little bit more because it's kind of like, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it's kind of like streaky because it's been sitting there. Is that gonna be too light? <laughs> and the poles are still open right now, by the way. I just put up the poles like a couple, like, yeah, a couple hours ago. So honestly, the results could be changing right now depending on how long it takes me to get to the step, y'all might pick something else. Y'all have me out here looking a little ghostly. We gonna have to add some bronzer. I hope y'all picked a good bronzer. Oh, I forgot how matte this foundation is and with the Fenty primer underneath, my skin is feeling a bit dry. Okay, so I guess that's foundation done. Now let's see what y'all picked for concealer. So for concealer, I gave you Fenty Matchsticks Mistake Glossier 
Maybelline or Collab. So I gave you four brands to choose from. Again, I gave y'all Fenty as a choice. I don't know why I even did that because I really don't like using the Fenty matchsticks as a concealer. I guess I just wanted to throw it in as a wild card, not thinking that y'all would pick Fenty everything, but of course y'all did. So, I mean, I stay, I mean, look, I stand for Fenty, but we trying to switch it up. So of course Fenty won again, 37%. Second place was Maybelline, but y'all want me to use the dang Fenty match sticks as concealer. When I already got the Fenty primer and the Fenty foundation and my skin is feeling dry. So these are the match sticks. I have like a concealer shade, a contour shade, and like a highlight shade. So I have to use this as concealer. This is what y'all chose this dry stick it has its purpose in the world okay i'm not saying it's a bad product overall but for me and where i'm at right now today i don't want to rub this underneath my eye it's not gonna look good it's not gonna blend out good okay look i need to mm, mm. okay you know what i am going to cheat a little bit just so that i don't rip my skin off <laughs> And I have the Tatcha um, Dewy Skin Mist. I feel like I need to dewify my face just a bit. Otherwise, we just gonna be way too freaking dry. Mm, see, I don't know if y'all can tell on camera, but that helped already. The thing with this is that it doesn't really give you like super full coverage. So, and I have dark circles. So this isn't gonna give me like the normal look that I would want. See, I feel like it's like you can still see darkness. Like it lightened up the area, but it didn't really give coverage. Okay, so there's my base. I feel like I'm looking a little ghostly. I mean, it's not looking too bad. For setting powder, I give you guys the options of Beauty Bakery, Airspun, Cover Effects, or the new Urban Decay Waterproof Setting Powder, which I have not tried yet. And I told you guys I wanted to try it, so I thought you guys would be on my side. But no, y'all chose the Beauty Bakery Powder, which I'm not mad at, 44%. Uh, Urban Decay was in second place with 23%. Y'all chose Beauty Bakery though. I'm not mad at that. That is the powder that I've been using a lot recently. The Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. So I'm just gonna dip into that and set under my eyes. Although, mm -mm, the under eye area is struggling. And see, the thing is, I already know y'all are gonna pick a bold eyeshadow look and a bold lip, most likely. And that does not look good when your base is not on fleek. Like this is not really a flawless base because I feel like it just, it doesn't look beat, you know, it doesn't look beat down. It looks like a little too natural, a little too, I don't know, to be putting like heavy eyeshadow and stuff on this base can't relate, but apparently y'all can. Okay, so for contour slash bronzer, I gave you guys a couple of brands to choose from. I said Kat Von D, Urban Decay, Beauty Supply brand, which is like a wild card, random, cheap brand, or e.l.f. And the winner, it, it was a close call, very close call, but the winner by just a little bit, 31% is Urban Decay. So y'all got my back, because y'all know I've been using this Urban Decay uh, beached bronzer recently. Y'all were not supposed to just pick, look. Do y'all not know how to play this game? I, j I just, I mean, I'm not mad at this choice, but it's just like, come on now. Y'all just wanna pick all Fenty everything and then all everything that I already use. Where's the fun in that? Bronze my face, add some color to my face. The only problem with this bronzer though is that as you can see, it's more of a red tone, like truly bronzy bronzer. And I don't typically like to use that type of shade to contour my nose. I like to use more of an actual cool tone contour shade, but this is supposed to be doubling as my bronzer and my contour. So I feel like my nose is gonna be looking a bit red, but I mean, we're gonna use it anyway. This is what y'all picked. If y'all would have picked Kat Von D, it would have been all inclusive, but this is, not but you know i guess that's fine all right moving on to blush i said now i need blush pick a tone very pink peachy more mauvey or light pink and you guys chose peachy 51 percent peachy definitely 
one. I had a feeling that y'all were gonna pick that because everybody loves peachy blush. But what I just realized is that I don't know if I even really have a true peachy blush. This is my blush bucket. We have some options in here. Y'all didn't pick a specific brand. Y'all just picked a peachy color. So I get to pick what brand, but really I'm limited because I don't have Mm, that many peachy colors. I have this e.l.f. blush palette. I feel like this would be considered peachy. Milani Luminoso. Does that count as peachy? Is that peachy? Oh yeah, that's peachy, right? Is that peachy? I think we're just gonna go with wet and wild. Okay, so you guys chose peachy blush. I feel like this is peachy enough. Let's see. Ooh, she's pigmented. She's more pigmented than I thought. We're gonna have to blend that out. This is why I get scared to try new makeup and stuff because usually when I'm putting on makeup, it's because um, I'm going somewhere, I need to look good, like this is not a game. So if I mess up or something like that happens and I can't fix it and I'm in a time crunch, I'm like, I'm gonna be looking crazy. So I just stick to my comfort zone because I get scared that it's just not gonna look good. And then I'll be out here looking crazy. Okay, so now I said, OMG, you have to pick my highlighter, don't let me down. And I gave you a couple of options. I said Artist Couture, which is just a brand. Fenty Trophy Wife, which is obviously a specific highlighter. A Purple Duo Chrome Shade, which is a color but not a specific brand. And then Wet n Wild, which is just a brand. So I gave you guys a nice little mix to choose from and of course we already know that y'all picked Fenty because y'all are playing favorites so y'all picked Fenty Trophy Wife for my highlighter now don't get me wrong I like Trophy Wife I bought this for a reason okay y'all know gold is my thing but as just a regular highlighter it's a bit much I'm just gonna go in with a little fluffy brush just just like dink, dink, two taps tap it off very light Okay, there we go, that's enough. Buff it in. See, she's cute. She's cute when she's sheer. I can work with this. I can deal with this, yes. Okay, a little on the chin. And I guess I have to highlight my nose with this too because, well, that's our only highlighter. Okay, wait, this is not bad at all. I really thought this was gonna have me looking crazy and just yellow but with a light hand and a light amount of product it looks cute okay maybe y'all do know what y'all are doing all right now we're getting down to the nitty-gritty we're getting down to the actual eye look so i said pick my eyeshadow style i gave you the choices of halo eye dark smoky eye a simple natural look or a colorful ombre and i knew y'all was gonna pick one of the dramatic ones. I knew y'all wasn't gonna pick simple natural look. So the winner is with 37% colorful ombre. And of course, second place was the halo eye. So I have to do a colorful ombre, but with what colors? So I said, pick my eyeshadow color scheme, pink and warm tones, purples, blues or greens, or natural browns. And the winner is, oh, pink and warm tones. Why are y'all just picking my favorite things? Like, this is crazy. Okay, so pink and warm tones, which is pretty much the colors that I always like to wear for my eyeshadow, but I have to do a colorful ombre with pink and warm tones. So I guess that's gonna be including like red, pink, orange. And then on top of that, I said, pick my eyeshadow brand. And I said, Urban Decay, Morphe, Elf, or BH Cosmetics. And Morphe won by a landslide with 51%. So I have to do a colorful, pink warm tone ombre look with morphe eyeshadows only so i only actually have these two morphe palettes i have the jaclyn hill morphe palette and i have the um classic morphe 350 is that what it's called yeah 350 palette luckily for me the 350 palette is pretty much all warm tones we have a lot of shades that we can use out of here i feel and then let's see what's in the jaclyn hill palette because i honestly i know it's colorful to a certain extent but i honestly forgot oh yes we have warm tones oh but what we don't have between the two of these is a true true pink color we have some little soft pink metallics up in here but i was hoping 
you know, for a colorful ombre that I would use like a hot pink. Let's just start and see where it goes. So I'm just gonna start off by putting this bright orange color in my crease area just so I don't just I don't know let's just do it I also don't have no type of eyeshadow base really because the Fenty Beauty match sticks usually I use concealer as my eyeshadow base but that particular product does not really work <laughs> that way so we're already kind of starting on the struggle bus. I feel like since y'all said pink and warm tones and I really don't have a good pink in here, I'm gonna have to cheat just a little bit just to stay true to the color scheme and get a pink eyeshadow. This particular eyeshadow, I'm just gonna take it out of this little palette that I have. And it's actually not out yet, but it's here. So I'm gonna use it as an actual like true bubblegum pink color. Work this into the whole look just to make it a little bit more pink overall. I'm gonna take like this, one of like these reddish tone colors and start packing that on to my outer lid. So we're starting with the dark part of the ombre. Okay, you guys, so at this point, I started packing on a bunch of eyeshadow, trying to add different colors, trying to make an ombre, but it was turning out basically a hot A mess. The shadows just were not sticking, they were not blending, and it really just looked horrible. Okay, so mm, this not looking how I want it to look. I feel like we've got the main color scheme down. I really want more pink and the the shadows are just, it didn't have anything to stick to. Like my eyelids were so dry when I went in with these shadows. The only concealer I have to use is this though. So I'm still, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try something right now, okay? So I went in with the Fenty Beauty Match Stick Concealer on a brush to try and add it on top to give the pink shadow something to stick to. It kinda worked, but kinda not really because that concealer is so dry. This is so patchy and unblended, you guys. I'm struggling. Okay, I think that's about as good as this pink orange ombre eye is gonna get. Now I have to try and make this eye match it. I have so much stuff on my freaking eye right now. I just keep putting on more stuff. Okay, here's my pink warm tone ombre colorful eye. Okay, so for the next step, I said pick my eyeshadow accessory, meaning an extra thing to go with the eye look. And the options were colored liner, black wing liner, colored mascara, or glitter. Oh, wait, I think this is one of the polls that's like, it's changing. Right now, it says that black wing liner has 31% and glitter has 32%. Let me refresh this and see. I hope it's not glitter. Please just be black wing liner. Please, uh, please. I don't even know. Uh, I guess I do have some glitter back there. Come on! It still says glitter is the winner. I'm not gonna cheat. I could wait and see if it shifts in like a couple minutes, but I'm not gonna cheat. It says glitter, y'all want glitter. Y'all don't want me to have any eyeliner, apparently. Y'all just want me to put glitter on this, so. You know what, I think I wanna put it like a strip of gold glitter along my lash line, but I will need to do that after I put my false eyelashes on, so I'm gonna save this. So I said, pick the level of drama for my lashes. Number one is natural, number two is flirty, number three is dramatic, and number four is drag queen, meaning the most thickest, craziest lashes that I have. And of course, natural only got 6%, and you guys actually picked flirty. So level two lashes with 39%. Okay, so for lashes, like if y'all would have picked natural, I would have just went with like a nice little demi wispy natural lash. If y'all would have picked drag queen, I would have went with these super, I mean, can you guys even see how long and thick and crazy? I don't even think y'all can tell like how crazy these are on camera. But since y'all picked flirty, I'm feeling like, you know, something kind of flared out, definitely like not too natural. So I'm thinking maybe these, 
these have like a nice little flirty flair to them. So I think I'm gonna put these on and then like I said, I'm gonna do glitter liner on top of the lash line. Okay, so after a big struggle, I got the lashes on, I got the glitter liner on top of the lashes, which now looks very silver, although in the bottle I thought it was kind of goldish. But either way, we got the glitter on. Not my best application. I just feel like I have so much stuff on my eyes right now that stuff is just not sticking, stuff is getting messed up, but you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna keep going. I also did not notice how much glitter had fallen down onto my lashes. That looks crazy. All right, so the last two things that we have to pick for this makeup look is the lipstick color and the lipstick style. So I gave you guys a bunch of options for lipstick color. I gave you blue or green, purple tones, light nude, dark nude, then I continued in another poll. I said red, hot pink, brown, or orange. So out of those two polls combined, I'm gonna pick the one that has the highest percentage out of all of them, which is 42% for light nude. So out of all those crazy color options, blue, green, purple, red, hot pink, brown, orange, you guys picked light nude. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna be doing a light nude lip, but the question is what type of light nude lip am I gonna be doing? So I said, pick my lipstick style. I gave you guys the option of glossy, matte, metallic, or glittery for the lipstick style. So glossy one by a landslide, 50% voted for glossy out of almost 2000 votes. So we are going to be doing a glossy light nude lip and that is going to be what finishes off this makeup look. I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop lip liner in the color BFF. It's just like a kind of nudey, light nude lip liner. And then for the lipstick, I wanna use this Dose of Colors lipstick. This is the Desi and Katie collab. This one is called More Creamer Please. It's what I would consider a light nude for my skin tone, but let's see how it looks. Okay, this might be a little bit on the peachy orange side. I mean, I still feel like it goes nicely with the eyes kind of, but I'm just not sure if this is what you guys were thinking when I said light nude. I'm not sure what I was even thinking when I said light nude, but they described this, Desi and Katie described this as like a light nude lipstick, so. So watching this footage back again, I think the problem was that the lip liner did not coordinate well with this lipstick and that's what's making it look kind of weird, so. Mm. Not really feeling it now that I'm looking back at the footage. But you guys wanted a glossy lip, so to go with that, I also have the Dose of Colors Lip Gloss from the Desi and Katie collection. This is called Over the Top. It's like a glittery lip gloss. It's mostly clear, but with like some gold shimmer in it. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. I have my light nude kind of <laughs> glossy lip. I have my pink colorful ombre eye. I have my glitter. I have my flirty lashes. I have all my Fenty Beauty stuff on. My Trophy Wife highlighter. You know what? I feel like we can add a little bit more Trophy Wife to the cheeks. Just, you know, why not just go all out? You know, you might as well. So yeah, this is the finished look. This is what you guys picked for me. This is what you wanted my makeup to look like today. Obviously you guys didn't get to pick like one full cohesive look because everybody voted for different things, but somehow this whole look did kind of come together. I feel like the tones kind of match. We have like the warm tones on the eyes. We have the yellow warm tone trophy wipe highlighter. We have this more peachy nude lip, which I guess was kind of more of my choice, but I didn't really know what else to do for a light nude lip. Um, I could have done maybe more of a light pink shade, but even still that probably would have matched really well too so overall I mean it doesn't look like too crazy because it's not like I have like green and blue and purple and all different colors all over the place but it definitely looks dramatic but just more so with this overall eye look and how it's paired with the lip and the highlighter it's just kind of a lot going on and I normally wouldn't do 
all of this together. So yeah, overall, I think this was a really fun challenge. I do really like this look. I definitely think it's Instagram worthy. I'm gonna take some pictures, post it on the gram. Follow me at Raven Elise. You guys can see those and show some love on this creation that you made. But yeah, guys, that's it for this makeup challenge. Comment down below if there are any other makeup challenges or just YouTube challenges in general, you know, videos that everybody is doing that I haven't done yet. Comment down below any requests that you might have. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys are proud of yourselves for picking out this makeup look and putting this together and subscribe if you guys haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!